Hello friends, welcome to Practice CSE. And in this series of database, we are continuing with our file organization and indexing chapter. And in this particular video, we'll be understanding what is static multi-level index and what is dynamic multi-level index, right? So if you find this particular video useful, do not forget to like this particular video. And if you are having any suggestions, please mention those suggestions in the comment box, right? So let's start this particular video. So what is a static multi-level index? What is the meaning of static? That means whatever the data that we need to perform the indexing will be uh, priorly available to us, right? And in, in the dynamic, that means we can update the index file in the runtime. That means we can we are able to modify the index file. Here static means we are not able to modify the index field once it has been created. So index file is built over given database instances. What is the meaning of given database instances? That means whatever the database that we are using to create the index file, that, that particular database should, should exist earlier, right? And index file not allowed to modify even database record inserted or deleted that means if you are deleting a record from the database file or you are inserting the record in the particular database file you are not allowed to update the index file this is under the static right see this is a particular database file right and we'll be having the index index file in such a way that earlier we'll be having the index size will be more then it will be minimized up to unless we are having just one block right so priorly we'll be having big data big database file and we keep on in performing the indexing until unless there is one particular block so if you are not able to understand these particular thing please check some previous videos on indexing so that you are clear with the basics right so here you can see that this is the first level index as we will be having the k level indexing k level of index this is the first level of index here i am having one entry for each block right so i am having three entries in the index file there can be more entries as well so i'm not showing all those things now what it says that we are not able to update the index file what does it mean that if we have to add any particular information let i have to add 11 and 12 in this database field then what we'll be doing we are not able to modify this index field that means we are not able to insert the data in between these particular data files and if we insert these particular values after this key then the order will not be sustained so what we'll be doing we'll be taking a overflow page we'll be taking an extra page in that page i'll be saving a block which will be containing the values as 11 and 12 because to maintain the order we have to make sure that these values are in order so we'll be having 2 6 10 after 10 we'll be having 11 and 12 right similarly if i have to insert the values as 13 and 14 then i have to again take a overflow page and in that overflow page we'll be having a block in that block we'll be storing 13 and 14 right so this is how we'll be storing because we cannot update the database file because if we update the database file then this respective entries 20 has needs to be shifted down because we'll be inserting two more blocks right which is not possible in the static multi-level indexing right now see this particular point index file not allowed to modify even database record is deleted that means if we are deleting a particular record let's say i deleted this particular record even if this particular record is deleted i am not allowed to delete this two which is referring to the 
deleted block right so this is one drawback of this particular starting multi level indexing right similarly if i am deleting all these blocks let's say i deleted all these particular blocks then there is no value there is no information in the database file still we are having the entries in the index file right so here the usage of this particular index file can be 0% so what is the disadvantage of this particular static multi level index first thing is the worst case access cost would be order of n because even if it is not available here it is referring so in the worst case and we will having order case of order of n let's say i have to find out 13 so if i have to find out 13 i will be starting from this particular place and will be going to all the k levels after this k level i will be coming on to this 10 right this 10 will be indicating that it is here right that means the value lies here after that i have to check these particular overflow pages and in the worst case scenario the overflow pages can be n right because of that the worst case access cost will be order of n right and because of the recorded deletion from database file minimum usage of index block can be 0% that i already explained you that if you delete all the information from the database file then there is no use use of this particular index block in that case the usage of index block can be 0% while if you talk about the dynamic multi-level index index file must be updated as data records inserted or deleted that means if you are inserting any data and if you are deleting any data like 11 or 12 so if there is any insertion that particular insertion needs to be depicted or represented in the hash table right so what we can do is instead of these overflow pages we can shift these 20 and 30 downwards in dynamic multi-level indexing and shift these 11 and 12 in the respective place right so that the order will also be maintained so what is the advantage of dynamic multi-level index here will not be having any overflow pages that means no overflow pages right now next thing is in case if we are deleting all the records from the database file like here so if we are deleting the database file we will keep a track on this particular index file and will make sure if it is of use that means if the minimum usage of this particular index file is 50 percent or more then it is okay if the usage of this particular index file is less than 50 percent then we have to again perform the indexing on this particular database file right so this is how the dynamic multi-level indexing is far better than the static multi-level indexing nowadays whatever the database we are using we implement the dynamic multi-level index because the database are regularly updated right now the standard data structure what is the standard data structure to perform the indexing so b tree and b plus tree are used for the dynamic multi-level indexing do not get confused with this this b tree as binary tree right these are not binary tree these are the balanced search tree so there are two variation one is b tree and the one is b plus tree these both are balanced uh, bind, uh, balanced search tree right not binary tree in the next video we will be discussing that what is search tree why we are using binary uh, why we are using the balanced search tree instead of binary search tree so next video is very important if you are able to find if you are able to learn something from this particular video do not forget to like this particular video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here thank you very much for your support keep supporting keep learning have a great day